Alas, our vacation getaway in Ice Cap is over, so we have to go back to the real world. Hey there everybody, Destroyer X here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut for the Nintendo GameCube and countless other systems that I've already mentioned in previous parts. Well, we're completely done on Angel Island for now, so we're going to head off of the island eventually. Come on, go! There we go, Sonic. Go, go, go. I'm playing like I'm just a complete newbie at this. Now, for no particular reason at all, we're going to head over to this small pond over here where we meet another character. Let's listen in and find out what's going on. What's up, Knuckles? Something bugging you? No time for games, Sonic. Give me the emeralds you have, right now! What? Let's just see you take them! Huh. This oh, no. guy right here, his name is Knuckles the Echidna, and he's a mini-boss in the game, and he is incredibly easy. Oh, no. I get hit by him a few times, but in reality, this boss battle is easy. Just three hits and he's down. Oh, no. Uh, oh. oh no! The Chaos Emeralds! <laughs> Where did Eggman come from? Taking candy from a baby. That's a Chaos Emerald. No, really? You haven't seen a Chaos Emerald before? You practically gave them to me. Hold it right there, creep. You can't get away with this. Knuckles, don't tell me Eggman tricked you again. Me? What about you? Way to go, Knucklehead! Eggman did not trick no, Sonic at all. Eggman, as a matter of fact, Sonic has been aware of Eggman's plot Chaos. from the get-go. Oh no, Chaos looks a little bit more beefy. I wonder why. Chaos has turned into water sushi. Oh, great. Now we are battling Chaos 4. And as you can see here, he will have a few he has a few attacks like that shockwave attack right there. Occasionally he'll Try and you know flip up those um lily pads that you're standing on, and you don't want to be in the water. I think you can drown in the water, or you can get stuck. What, what, I'm not sure. I keep moving when I'm whenever I'm playing, but for the most part, you want what you want to do is you want to take out Chaos Four. You want to hit Chaos Four as soon as he pops out of the water. Just jump it. When he pops out of the water, just homie attack him and rinse, wash, and repeat. The battle isn't too hard, he'll go down in a few hits. Then after we get done with Chaos 4, then we'll move on with the rest of the game. I don't remember why I paused the game right there. I was trying to check out something, but I don't remember what.
Yeah, this battle isn't much. There's not a lot of commentary I can say. I mean, you, the only time you can hit Chaos Four is when he pops out of the water, like right here. And there you go. Oh my goodness, that looks like... Is that King Koopa's Doom Ship? It can't be. It has the Eggman logo on it. Besides, we're playing a Sonic game. Behold my floating masterpiece, the Egg Carrier! Why do things always look so much better in cutscenes? You really should come with us since you're the it was because of you that we lost the chaos emerald to begin with but you know And now we can play as Knuckles. I'll explain Knuckles whenever I get to his playthrough but for now let's head over to Tails' workshop so we can get on our biplane to tornado. Well, this looks pretty fancy. And now we are introduced to Sonic's biplane, the Tornado. Um, if you've played Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, you'll notice that it looks nothing like what it did in those games. Well, the Tornado, like Sonic and Tails and some of the other characters, the Tornado received a redesign in Sonic Adventure. And quite honestly, it looks pretty, it looks okay. Now we're in Sky Chase Act 1. I know that sounds like this, this isn't the same as Sky Chase Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but oh well. What you want to do here is you want to shoot down Eggman's planes that are flying in the sky. You can hold down the, the trigger, the button that actually, I think it's the A button on the um, GameCube. Yeah, it's the A button. You hold down the A button, you'll have a lock on feature. Let go of the A button after you lock on to some enemies, and you'll be able to shoot homing missiles at them. However, you only get credit for the kills if the if the um, things that you're locked on to, if they're still on the screen. If they're not on the screen, you don't get credit for kills. Well, in case you haven't figured it out by now, um, the tornado does have a health bar. If, if you get health, yeah, if you get hit, the health bar does go down. If the health bar just goes down all the way to zero, you lose a life, and you have to start over from Sky Chase Act One all over again. But in all honesty, this isn't very hard, which is why I have a very big lack of commentary right here. 
Um, for those who are unaware, um, I guess I can talk about the tornado. <laughs> Um, the Tornado itself, as I mentioned, it received a redesign in Sonic Adventure. Originally, the Tornado was just a, you know, a regular biplane that, um, well, it was just a regular biplane. And when you get to the Winged Fortress Zone in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the Tornado actually gets shot down. And just as you're about ready to re go to the Death Egg, um, the death, uh, as, just as you're about ready to go to the death egg, the Tails manages to recover and he attaches a rocket engine to the bottom of the tornado, which will allow, which allows it to go into the upper stratosphere so Sonic can reach the Eggman ship that's carrying him to the death egg. Oh, and we're about ready to get, and blah, blah, we're about ready to get shot out of the sky. But we still passed with a 78% 78% um, enemy shoot down rate. Yay. Oh my goodness, that is a stupid sound effect for somebody that's falling. Why didn't Tails? Sonic die? Tails. Your head is in the sand. Even if Tails was around, how are you gonna? You're not. How I'm are you gonna for? see him? I mean, ugh, good night. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. Well, obviously he's not okay if he got shot out of the sky, but. Now we are going to advance the plot. Now instead of us going back to the Mystic Ruins and actually, you know, try and find Tails and whatnot, we're just gonna run around Station Square for a little bit. Um, in all honesty, I forgot where I was supposed to go up until, well, it takes me a few seconds to figure out where I'm supposed to go. The bird flew out of a flying ship. Oh my goodness. Yay. Whatever. That has nothing to do with us. We have to go follow the egg carrier. Except we have to find Tails so we can get a new ship to follow Eggman. Yay. Well, I guess the plot is over at the Casinoopolis area, so let's head over there. Wait for it, you're about ready to meet the most annoying character in the Sonic franchise. That pink hedgehog, her name is Amy Rose. She is annoying. I have better things to do than to babysit Amy Rose and a bird. I need to go follow the egg carrier. I need to stop Dr. Eggman and Chaos. Instead, we're gonna have to... Ugh, good night. This is... Ugh. Yeah. No problem. He's just a chunk of cheesy hardware. This should get captured? Oh, Yay! You are a stupid girl. What about the robot that's chasing you? Amy. What about the plot? What about Eggman? The plot is not oh, does not revolve around you. And instead of Sonic destroying the robot before we chase down Amy, we have to go follow Amy. Oy vey. Now we're in Twinkle Park. This is a very, very interesting area. It's, I don't play it very much, but quite honestly, it's a fun area to, you know, to experience.
Oh yes, and the music that you're hearing right now, this is actually a remix from Sonic 3D Blast. Well, this is actually from the... This is a remix of something that you hear from the Genesis version of Sonic 3D Blast. I apologize for the long pause because I was trying to look up this and the information of which which zone that is actually come from. And this is actually from the Panic Puppet Zone Act 1 of Sonic 3D Blast for the Sega Genesis. As you remember, Jun's Yun Sano actually did the music for Sonic 3D Blast and he also did music for this game. So this is actually a remix of one of his finer works from that era at least. Now we get to ride on a trippy roller coaster. Yay! This is so much fun. I mean, I mean, this has nothing to do with the plot, but hey, why not ride on a roller coaster? Yay! Woohoo! Now, as you can see, I failed miserably at this, but if you were to knock down all the pins right there, you get some kind of a ring bonus, which. I didn't do because I suck sometimes. Yay. But I'm about ready to redeem myself right now, although I don't knock down all the pins, but I do redeem myself here in just a moment. Had I managed to get a strike, I would have got I would have received a larger ring bonus, but unfortunately I didn't get a strike. Oh well, it's okay. I already have 11 lives, so I have more than enough lives to actually beat the game. Epic fail right there. Just do what I'm doing in this video and you'll be able to get through Twinkle Park pretty easily. Yay! Come on, go Sonic, go, 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 go. I probably could have used a light speed dash at this part right here, but I didn't want to risk falling off of off of here and starting all over again, because that would have sucked. Well, time is almost up. If you like the video, please feel free to subscribe. If you like my channel, please feel free to, well, subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Yes. If you have any comments, please leave your comments. I really want to get better at this whole Let's Play thing. And I'll see you all later. Take care, everybody, and ciao for now. Bye. Yeah, not bad.